we are on scouting, oh, walking. Well, kind of scouting. I want to see how that uh, back area is for whether or not I can ride it. Sorry, sorry. Uh -oh. Sorry, sorry. I look at that, Daddy. A kind of. Oh, a kind of squash. Do you want to do it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And there's more squash. I got to get a camera and come back out here. Yeah. There's a ton of pictures there's here. There's a lot of ferns, Daddy. Uh oh. You know, we, we grew up picking this when we have a school. Um, program will grab all of this and use this to decorate. Now I got a question. When the, when ferns first start to grow, mm -mm. they're wrapped in a real tight ball. Yep. Do you pick those and eat them? No. Nope. Oh, why not? We just don't use them. Because they're actually kind of a common rural dish back in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm beating by the ant. Hi. Hi. We have followers. That's <laughs> squash farm. And he planted bananas. Oh, very cool. He actually sold I saw him out 5, here the other day. 5,000 pesos, 6,000 pesos from the last harvest. That, uh... D did he get permission to do this or? Yeah. The owner allowed them one. So with this one, this one and this one are the same owner and they asked the owner, the, the caretaker that they will plant. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, they have a permission to do it. So they're technically not squatting? No. Okay. <laughs> Hey! Oh, Uncle! Oh, sorry, sorry, lang. Tayak to yok. Bidju, bidju ba? Bye bye. bye bye. They're looking for a um, spider. Oh. Fly spider, you know, the kaka. We called it kaka. Kaka? Uh uh. <coughs> oh, that's perfect. The view is perfect. Oh, back here there's a carabao. Oh, there's also a, ban a guava tree. Oh. oh, that's guava? Yeah. When we grow up, we have a lot of wild guavas that bear tiny, tiny fruit. Guava? Yeah, guavas. And it's really sweet and it's good. Yeah, because wild strawberries mm -mm. are actually really tiny. Oh, yeah. So growing up, they, we have a lot of, of guavas. Like that kind of guava, wild guava. That one over there, Daddy, that has a is a, a rice field point you know that white thing like a white flag that's a uh, rice fields over there oh, okay one day we could walk over there <laughs> we have company we have power <laughs> Coconuts in here. Oh, those are all coconut palms? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. There's a lot of makahia. What kind of plant that when you touch? Oh. See that? The touch me not plants. Yeah. There's a lot. And they they have flower too. You see that? Oh very cool. See? And this one is cute. There it is. There's a lot of them. 
this kind of plant we call it pitik pitik. Pitik pitik. Yeah, because the 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 fruit when you touch them or when you have with water, it will like. <laughs> so that's why. They kind of explode, huh? Yep. And this is the flower for this pitik pitik plant. Oh, very cool. Yeah. See, I still remember. So when do they fruit? Normally in spring, March, April, May. Oh, okay. So we gotta wait until. Yeah. Gotta wait until we leave. <laughs> yeah. There's cows, baka. So growing up, I play a lot in this field. Just <laughs> running and going to the carabao mud, you know. So I have a lot of memories in this in this field because we have a shortcut going to the school you need a banana you see the banana trees we oh just, the banana trees you right just there. go right and straight and then the and then just go straight and that's where our school that's our shortcut oh very cool if we don't have a one peso for fare then we'll walk <laughs> now the yellow school on the main road that's, that's the that, high school that's the high school the one in the uphill that's the elementary school so i've never seen your oh yeah i have seen your elementary school yeah. over by the uh the market uh-oh oh, see. Asa mo padungga. Masunod ka mo na mo. Ay lang magsunod. Kailayo na may antuan. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kaya si mo ulan. Bye bye. Bye bye. Umahan eh. Oo. Balik na mi. Bye bye. Bye bye. I said. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't follow us. Oh there's more. Of the pitik pitik plant. Oh, okay. Is that one it? Yeah. That purplish? Purple with the butterfly thing in there. Oh, very cool. See, this is called a kogun grass. Kogun grass? Yeah. For carabao and cows to eat. Oh, okay. Now, yesterday, right down here, mm -mm. there was a carabao hanging out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's got to rain. It's fogging over there. Oh, I see that fog. I miss this place where I grew up. I really miss. It's actually a big rice field before. Oh, it's raining now. <laughs> I said there's a fog. Look at that. It's like there's a fog over there and I go. Oh, wow. It's raining. So much for riding a bike. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit. Miss. Uh. Okay, we're heading home. Guess it's raining here in the first. Yep, field. it's starting to come down. Well, this is my playground here. I was going to say let's go up the other side, but that one was a little bit muddier. Yeah. And as quickly as it feels like it's starting to come down i want to get back for expediency yep, if nothing else go keep uncle luke company under the shelter <laughs> i'm glad i told the kids don't follow us <laughs> we'll keep it rolling to see if uh there's anything humorous that happens on the way back Otherwise, I may just edit it out because it's... There's a lot of goats over there, huh? That's where the motocross hills. Uh-oh. Are the hills and everything still there? Mm, not this year because of the COVID. Right, but they didn't tear it down, did they? No. Okay. You should be back here tomorrow, I guess. Hopefully, we can go up here on the, here on the dikes. The rice dikes. That would be really cool. Yeah. Hey, what's up? It's raining again. <laughs> <laughs> in the world, in the land of paradise. Oh, wait, be careful. This 
There, there's patches but even the mud is still yeah. I was trying to stand on the mud that's why I lost my balance a little bit so even the mud is still fairly dry yeah. huh? well, they have a lot of guava leaves if we need a guava tea I'll just grab a guava <laughs> I know there's a lot of guava, wild guavas, purple, purple. A little bit of mud. And then goat poop. <laughs> we won't show you the goat poop. <laughs> oh, funny. It was raining in there and here it's not. I, I noticed it kind of petered out. The way rain comes and as quickly as it comes around here, I'd almost rather err to the side of caution. Yeah, we can start walk, walk. Do you want to walk far in there? Yeah, we can wander that way. Good job, it's a good exercise. Come on. You got a shortcut. I'm a shortcut. It's a good exercise. I should do this every day until our quarantine finished. <laughs> I, that wouldn't be a bad idea if we can do that. Good job, Betty. We got a lot of bucos yesterday, fresh from the coconut trees. Yeah, they're tall, really tall. Now you can see the foot notches already in there. Yeah. We got like 12. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So is that what I was eating this morning? Yes. Yeah, that helped a lot with the shakes. Yeah, I'll find, um, I might buy a blender when we go to Yava. Or just in Karkar, you know, to do shakes, buku shakes. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. Jamilina tree, mahogany tree, mahogany, how do you pronounce it? I'm trying. Mahogany is. Mahogany tree. I said it before mahogany because it's mahogany. But it's mahogany tree, Jimilina tree, coconut tree. That big one is still Thalisai tree. That's Thalisai tree. Yeah. Oh, this one is. I'm not sure what kind of tree is this. But the other one is mahogany tree. But this one have a small leaf. I'm not sure. We'll have to ask Papa. Yeah. I'm gonna pick. Oh, you drove here, huh? Uh oh. This wasn't too bad. Yeah. It's weird. Like over there, it was showering, and now the fog starts to. Isn't that cool? As humid as it is, just a degree or two difference will make the difference between rain and not rain. Yeah. Now it started to mud here, so we need to go back. Oh, we, we can carefully get through this one. 